magic and in ancient Greece. Magic appears in the mythology of ancient Greece, was associated with such figures as Hermes, Hesh, Hercot, God, Goddess of the Moon, and Witchcraft, Omperis, the Sae, and Sorceress daughter of Helios, who was the expert of magical herbs and potions who helped Odysseus summon the ghosts from Hades. Myths abound in tales of magic potions and curses. Just one example was Hercules, who died in a horrible death after his wife, the Anthuria, had taken the magic blood of the centaur, Norius, and literally spread it on the hero's cloak. And were in it, Hercules was burned terribly, and later died of his wounds. Magic is also practiced by many literary characters, perhaps most famously in media, in the piece tragedy play of the same name. Magic in the Greek world was not just prevalent in the realm of the private individuals, Either it was reserved for the, it was it was reserved for the poor and literate. We know official inscriptions were commissioned by city states to protect the city from any possible disasters. There were also cases to, when known when as known as Trios in the fifth century BCE that state delivered death penalty to man his wife family and guilty harmful magic particulium detiliare. Another example, 4th century BCE, a woman by the name of Theodorus received a death sentence by distributing bewitching drugs and incarnations. Clearly, the authorities have recognized magic as an active and creativity capable of results was not simply the realm of weak minded peasantry. Certainly, some intellectuals realized its potential for abuse. Case of Plato, who wanted to punish those who could sold spells and cured. Tablets, Eucharine, Stalic philosophers, with other groups battled the Eucharine of magic. Hamlets, at the same time, of no official awareness of magic. Many private individuals believed the magic of the powers of magic of farmers, a dependency on the vergaries of weather, were weather susceptible to the power of Hamlets. Worn around the wrists or neck, for example, as it's hoped wherein they might guarantee significant rainfall that season. Where Greek Hamlets may be may be divided into two broad types, tournaments with all good luck and facilities which protected, and many made of wood, bone or stone, and may have more rarely semi-precious gemstones. They should, could be also written on small pieces of pyrus or a metal sheet, and carried in pouch or similar container, or simply consist of a small bag of mixed herbs. It was also particular shapes of viewed as aspicious, carried through in a miniature form. A palius, eye, vulca, knots, description, Egyptian scarab, and a small hand used making a steam gesture. Some of these elements was widely used today. It's still widely used today in Greece. The evil eye, Italian and southern Italy, the Cadonio horn. Elements were worn, for example, to cure physical ailment or con- conception to win a sporting competition, to attract a lover, to keep away robbers, ward off the evil eye, or take the wearer from bad magic, magic that might be detracted their way. Often to make them work, one had to evoke a god's especially homelet cut, to make certain utterances such as nonsense or foreign words, bleed her magical powers. Amulets were no, not limited to persons either, from walls or houses, or even entire towns would have low remnants to protect them from any negative occurrences. Curse tablets, curses, echoes, aga, uchi, were means of maintaining public order for the threat of medical punishment, from behavioural determinant to the community, especially crimes such as murder, not to seen as a way to cause harm to one's enemy. A cursed tablet often took the form of a sheet of metal, especially lead, it described the curse that it was rolled up for, folded, perhaps now shut and buried, buried in the ground, tombs or walls, potty shreds, papyri and pieces of limestone are similarly inscribed. The second form was as wax of clay figures seemed to resemble the victim of curse, their limbs bound or twisted and sometimes stuck with nails or believed buried in min- miniature lead coffins. If interesting note that more magicians of mythology were often female, the root records of cursed tablets and spells typically indicated a male user. 
cursed tablets were mostly used as means to settle disputes in one favour. First recorded on these dates of 6th century BCE, they cover such topics as business deals, relationship problems, legal disputes, cases of revenge, even Olympic and drama competitions. There were instances of Greek literature where entire families and traditions of curse, perhaps the most famous being Odeomus and his descendants. Magic spells. Egyptians have long, had long used spells, better described as lists of structures, the following incarnations written on by Bayard, and the Greeks continued in the tradition. Surviving Greek papyri concerning magical date to the 5th, 4th, and 3rd century BCE, they cover such instructions as how to get over physical ailments, improve one's sex life, exodus, limit vermin from home to parts of initiation ceremonies. Even how to make our own, your own amulet. Recipes and poisons frequently appear too, which often use rare herbs and exotic ingredients such as spices, insects from distant Asia.